what's up everybody the weekend is almost here and we are back with another video all right everybody the weekend is here and we just left our humble abode and we're heading to the Dulles Expo Center in Chantilly, Virginia. We're headed to the Washington DC RV Day show. Two miles. Turn left on Maryland 12. And I'm then driving. <gasps> Three hour ride. <laughs> you if, can do it girl. If I hadn't had enough with traveling already, I decide that I'm gonna drive. For what? Is it three hours? Yep, three hour ride. Three hours up, three hours back. Maybe I'll just take a nap <laughs> on the way up. Maybe I'll just do that. Do that. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. All right, folks, stick with us. See you later. safely. Kim did a great job driving. I told you I was taking a nap. <laughs> she didn't take a nap though. That's a good thing. But uh, we're about to head inside to see what kind of RVs and luxuries they have there. It's not that we're trying to buy a new RV or anything. But we're just gonna go take a look. Come on in.
think right now we are inside a, a Montana fifth wheel 3121 RL. It's a very nice floor plan. Come here, you have your dinette area. And you have your plugs and USB ports as well. Big windows. Over here we have the love seat with the power lighted, heated, and reclining. To the back of the living room area, of course, you have your fold-out couch. A huge Jensen uh, TV. Not exactly sure what size, but that's big. Big. <laughs> Stereo system there. With Titan Flame fireplace, under counter lights, You've got the 70 30 split sink, pull down faucet, three top burner along with oven, convection microwave. Wine rack, also with plenty of other storage. Looks like a residential refrigerator freezer, because it does come with an inverter. Refrigerator up top. Freezer at the bottom. Very nice. Pantry, another countertop with extra storage up top. Here you have your center where you can do all your slides, gas and electric, your water, your tank heaters are included in this as well. Another counter for your coffee bar or adult beverages. <laughs> Let's move towards the front. Little area here to hang up your coats and jackets. Gonna go all the way back to the bedroom. This unit comes with another Jensen TV inside the master bedroom. Your dresser drawer with six drawers. Pretty deep, not wide, but deep. Here we have a looks like a king size bed in the slide out. Closet with plenty of shelf space, hanging rod. Oh, and a hamper. You have your two extra chairs here for your dinette. And this is also an area if you wanted to hook up your washer and dryer. And into the bathroom. Storage up top, porcelain toilet, one piece shower, all right folks that is the Montana 3121 RL, if you like it don't call me, call the dealer. <laughs>
everyone. We just left the RV show. It was a pretty nice show. Uh, we stayed there a couple of hours, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. Uh, didn't seem to have a lot of high-end coaches, but what we saw, we liked. And if you noticed, we focused a lot on motor homes because we know someone that's in the market for one. So we wanted to give them an idea of what's out there. So of course, we are about to go <laughs> get something to eat, right, Kim? Wait. To my defense, oh, it yeah. is 218, and I have not had a thing but tea. Yeah. So that that doesn't count. It is time to eat. Come along with us. All right. So we stopped at lunch. We are both starving. Very much so. All right, we just finished turn our left. lunch. Then turn right on Brookfield brunch, Tower Drive. Or whatever you want to call it, since it was our first meal of the day. And it was, eh. Kim? Hey, listen, when <laughs> you got to go and doctor up your own stuff, like literally the coleslaw had to be the worst I ever had. He went and got vinegar and tried to doctor it up a little bit. Chantilly Shopping Center. Yeah. <sighs> Not good. Wasn't that great, but at least we got something in our stomachs to head on home. Headed back to the in Eastern Shore. Turn All right. Left on Chantilly we'll see you Shopping guys Center. in a little bit. everybody we are back home and we are safe and we just wanted to do a quick recap of the day's events so first off to Kimberly drove all the way there and all the way back six plus hours of driving today thanks sweetie with no nap <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you good job thank you <laughs> good job so as I said we made it home safely um, the RV show was pretty good. It was okay. Uh, due to probably space con constraints, there weren't a whole lot of RVs there. I kind of remember there was only two Solitude fifth wheels there. Yeah. Only two Forest River Cardinals there. But overall, it was a decent show. They had um, quite a bit of the uh, motorhomes. Yeah. So we'd like to walk through and look at that. As he mentioned earlier, we do have somebody that is actually looking for one of those. Mm -hmm. So we took some videos and some um, pictures of those. So hopefully um, they'll be able to get some more of an idea of what they, what they like. Yep. Uh, we didn't go into too many of the C classes or the smaller uh, travel trailers because we've seen so many of those. But uh, And the Airstreams. Yeah, she's not a very big fan of Airstreams. <laughs> I, I honestly, though, I think what made it so bad today is because you know when you go to a RV show, about fifty people shove into oh, a yeah. spot for like two. So I went in, and then I had to stay in a lot to try to get out. And it was almost like I was claustrophobic. I'm like, all right, enough. And then I left, and that's the only Airstream I got into, and I never got into another one. Yeah. So yeah so again the show was pretty nice um what do you think your favorite rv show is that you've been to timonium timonium yes timonium is a very very good show um if you could in the comments just leave us a comment down below as to what your favorite rv show is i guarantee you it's probably going to be hershey rv show yeah. and we just can never seem to make it Every time that comes up, it's usually Delmarva Bike Week. Yeah, so we just 
Are we scudder? Bike week. Maybe what? we need to change that. Yes, I was just about to say. I think yeah. 2020, I think we're going to make the effort to go to the Hershey RV show. You heard, y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard that. I have it in <laughs> video. He's skipping bike week and we're going to the Hershey. What did you say? What'd we're going to try to make the Hershey RV show. Okay. Right. I'm going to remember that. And just in case he forgets, now I have this video. And I will try to go one step further. Okay. <laughs> if we make it to the Hershey RV show, I think we should put together a meetup so oh. we can get some of our subscribers to come to a central location. We can meet up and talk and have a few drinks, something to eat. Oh, shoot. Now he's really done. Okay. I'm with that. So anybody who's game for that, let us know. Yeah. Put in the comments down below and we'll try and we'll put something together. Exactly. Huh? That'd be fun. Okay. So after the show. Oh, no, nope, we met Jimmy. Yes. A subscriber. Yes. We wanted to give a shout out to a gentleman named Jimmy who recognized us as we came in. He's one of our subscribers. So thank you, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Yep. And then after that, we went and had lunch. <laughs> uh, it, was it was almost I told him I was so hungry I would have eaten an emoji turd I was super <laughs> I was so hungry that stuff was it wasn't ugh. the best it wasn't the best it we wasn't. were very hungry it was closest place we could find yeah so mm -mm. Eh. Mm -mm. not when you got a doctor up it's like you know, there's always somebody you know that cannot cook. And then they're always the first to volunteer to bring something or text something somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was like that. The coleslaw. Mm. It's like paper. It was the shredded way. paper. <laughs> I'm serious. He really went and got some vinegar and tried to doctor it up. It still yeah. didn't. Uh -uh. But mm -mm. it is what it is. It was what it was. So. Yeah. All right. It did what it did, and it didn't really do nothing for me. Let me just tell you that. Yeah. All right, babe. You want to end this one? Yep. All right. Well, thank you all to uh, for all of our subscribers. If you have not subscribed, please like and subscribe. We are actually at 1,551 subscribers. We're trying to get it up to 2,000 yes. now. So... If you know of anybody, just refer us and have them subscribe. And thank you so much in advance. And here's hoping that you guys have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. All right. See you next go around. Bye. Peace for 2020. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs>